Got him. Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm your host D-Day bringing you Let's Play Enigmatica 6 Expert Mode. One thing that's super important to mention is that this pack right now is in pre-alpha phase. But I was assured by one of the pack developers that most of the beginning content is finished. So be sure to smash like to keep the series going and subscribe so that you can find the channel again. And if you're ready, then let's play with D-Day. Alright guys, so today what we're going to do is we're going to work on resourceful bees. Uh, mainly we're going to work our way up the uh, hive upgrades to the tier 1 apiary. And we're going to make two, maybe three of these apiaries for the sheer amount of bees that I feel like making today. We got a bunch of them already. Uh, we're going to do some bee breeding as well. Copper bee, nickel bee, gold bee. We're going to do some bee mutations like the electrum bee, the lumium bee, and the signalium bee. Uh, also, brass bee, constantan bee, whatever we can get our hands on right now. Uh, also, I'm wearing a sombrero. Pretty cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to work our way up tier 1 hive to tier 4 hive. And then we can use the tier 4 hive to make the tier 1 apiary. We don't even need to uh, use the, the beehives. We can just use the upgrades. So the thing that was holding us back at the very beginning of the series uh, towards making the apiary was the gold powder. And now that we have nature's aura up and running, we have enough gold powder to be able to make the tier one hive upgrade. Everything else uh, is within resourceful bees. So the only thing that was gated was the very first hive upgrade. Uh, so we can get, grab grass, six pieces. Let's see. Grass. Oh, that's tall, slimy grass. And that's seagrass. I really don't have any grass. Huh. Well, I did make a comma from uh, Tinkers so that we could use the comma instead of shears. Mainly, I've been putting vines on the side of my building and uh, on the windmill and stuff. The vines look really cool. One, two, three, four, five, six. The vines I'm going to use for later, we're going to make some uh, some dry rubber with it. Alright, we can get rid of the seeds here. So we have six grass, we have two gold powder, and we need one plank to make the hive upgrade one. There we go. And then hive upgrade one with beeswax and honeycombs. Mini bee shack. All right, these silk moths, they're they are everywhere now. I went ahead and I put all three of the silk moth nests over here. What's funny is they're all getting caught on my conveyor belt here. I left the game on for maybe two days, three days maybe, over the weekend. And I think about 40 of them got stuck here because this morning when I turned off the rotation speed controller to move everything, I freed all of them. I wish I had it recorded. It was ridiculous how many of these silk moths just went flying into the distance. <laughs> Let's see. Oh yeah. We need to grab uh, the beeswax and the honeycombs that we have in here. Tier 2. Tier 3 requires blocks of honeycombs and beeswax. There we go. And tier four requires the uh, the actual liquid honey turned into like a congealed block. You take four of these guys, any honey, and you craft them together as a block. Four and four. Makes our tier four. And then we need another four and another four to turn this guy into an apiary. Yeah, there's our tier one apiary. Cool. So it's a lot easier to, uh, as soon as you get the uh, brilliant fibers and the gold petals, 
from uh, Nature's Aura. As soon as he got that... Yep, we burn through this part now. We're up here. We're going to make the apiary breeder and the apiary storage. So let me see. We're probably going to need, what, one, two, three? Because I want to make the breed time upgrades as well. So, so we need gold storage upgrades. That's going to be this item here for the apiary storage. I believe the apiary breeder requires an apiary storage. So we need two apiary storage. So f eight chests and eight. Let's see, six, three. We have a whole bunch of combs in our inventory. All right, we do have the honey blocks as well, some of them that I saved up. All right, so we need eight chests and we need two hoppers, I believe. Let's see, we should have a bunch of chests. Yeah. Eight chests. We're going to need eight of the honeycomb blocks and two hoppers. I believe I have one hopper. In my inventory, yeah. Let's grab that ninth one and make another hopper. All right, and apiary storage. One, two, perfect. So one for the unit and one that's going to be turned into an apiary breeder. We need four MTB jars. We need two flowers, and we need two tokens of joy from nature's aura. Cool. So we can do a ritual of the forest. I like that. We need sun metal blend, bottled sunlight, gold leaf, golden apple, glimmering pink flowers. Do I have pink? I do have pink. Three. And glowstone. I believe it's two per... We need six pieces of glowstone. Yep, that's three glimmering flowers. Where's the breeder? There's the breeder. We need a golden apple. And gold. Nope, I moved it. Eight pieces of gold. All right, we need a gold leaf, sun metal blend, bottled sunlight. Okay, so that's the bottle and cork, right? So we need tree bark and a glass bottle. Tree bark from chopping block. All right, over here we can grab a glass bottle. Bottle and cork, and then sunlight. Nice. Bottled sunlight. All right. Oh, let me get rid of these guys. Apiary storage. And breeder. All right. So we need sun metal blend. We need to buy a sunny blossom sapling. Bloop. Sunny Blossom Sapling. Alright, we need to grab one sulfur and silver. One, two, three, four. Head over to the Arnavo Enchanting Apparatus. One, two, three, four. Bloop. There's our sun metal. And the last item is going to be one gold leaf. Oop, got it. All right, Ritual of the Forest. One, two of these. Three, one, and one. All right. Apiary storage. We need iron and we need a lot of chests. Okay, so iron. 
gold, diamonds, emeralds. Got it. A bunch of chests. Boop, boop. Okay. Two, three, four. 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 Eight. Whoa. Sixteen. One. Two. Three. Four. All right, so our apiary storage can be upgraded to have uh, emerald level. Breed time upgraders. Ooh, needs another gold storage upgrade. And this one needs another gold storage upgrade. So we need three breeder upgrades and one breed time upgrade. No, no, no. The other way around. One breeder upgrade and three breed time upgrades. Four. Nice. We make one. These guys. 64. All right. We need all of our jars. Let's see if I remember the recipe. Yay. 13. Does not make that many. Okay, so one breeder upgrade. And the rest are going to breed, breed time. Cool, three breed times. We got it. All right. I believe that's everything that we need to get started on putting the... Yeah, look. All the way up here. We did all of that already. Uh, moving into the powered centrifuge, I do need this guy. But for that, we need circuit back planes, which require us to get into the engineer's workbench. The engineer's workbench is steel rod, like this is doable. But the blueprint for it requires the alloy kiln, Upgrade matrix. Upgrade matrix requires the pneumatic craft processing plant, water, and the smoldering lapis, which comes from blast furnace coarse lapis, which comes from mixing lapis, nether, and tar. And tar comes from the separator with the bitumen ore that we're getting from the sooty bee. We can run that through for crude oil and tar. So that's going to be next time. We're going to be working everything up to the centrifuge. And then uh, upgrading the apiary to tier 2 requires the enchanting apparatus. And that requires honeycomb blocks, honey buckets, no problem, aura blooms, sunflowers, but runes of air and earth from Batania. So we also need to get into Batania. To get to the runic altar so we have to make mana generation and the runic altar before we can get to the tier 2 apiary tier 3 gets even more difficult it's a ritual of the forest token of joy actually it's not that difficult it's just more runes and the tier 4 yeah wow the tier 4 requires the Iridescent Altar from Astral Sorcery. It has Illumination Powder, so we need to get pretty far into uh, Astral Sorcery, because we also need to attune it to this constellation that I'm not even going to pretend I know. <laughs> Since this happens often, add these to the filter. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. And then they'll fill up in here. Okay, so we have silk fibers. Uh, I really do want to make a mage bloom. Mage bloom seed. So that we can start getting mage bloom fibers. Mage blooms with the silk fibers to make mage bloom fiber. Wrap it around the rose gold that I made a whole bunch of by accident. So that we can get silky cloth. And then put silky cloth on our pickaxe. So that we can get silky on it. So let's grab some seeds. 
and we can grab uh, the other ingredient so that we can make mage bloom seeds. Let's grab any seeds, really. Wheat seeds. And let's see. What was it again? Source gems. Which I have them uh, gathering over here. Put a hopper under it. And uh, just left the computer running. So we can automate source gems. Boom. All right. Mage Bloom Seed. Let's switch these out. Oh, and I put the bone meal up, didn't I? Let's go. One, two, three, four. Grab the bone meal. Should work, right? One, two, three, four. Fourteen percent. Yep, there we go. All right, we have eleven, and we only need uh. Five. Let's go ahead and make our silky upgrade. Let's go. Oh no, we're going to need a lot more than that, right? Each. Yeah. So we need two for one. So we need ten. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What am I doing? Nine, ten. Five rose gold. Boom. And lime steel pickaxe. Silky. It looks awful. <laughs> and I thought 1.12 with its bright yellow was bad. Silky is bright pink. All right. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it back here in our B area. So let's see. How about right? Let's line it up with this. Like a line here. And then we'll put the apiary facing this way, right here. Boop, and validated. Booyah. So let's see, what bees do we want to have a head start on? We need to make a copper bee first. So that is rocky and skeleton. I want to make the nickel bee, which is RGB and copper. Gold, which is water and nickel, okay. Lead, which is ICB and iron. So we can't put the iron bee in yet because we need it for breeding. Aluminum bee, tin and osmium. We need to make osmium, which is zombie and skeleton. Zinc, which is beeper and aluminum. Tin, which is zombie and forest, okay. So we do need to find zombie and we need to find creeper bees. So zombies, spawns in world true, snowy taiga, blah blah blah, all of these biomes. We also need beepers. And I think I need three of these guys for all of the uh, mutations I want to do in the future. Sparse rainforest, okay. So let's see, we can put in the meat jars. The sooty bee to start making bitumen. Blaze bee, we need to put in a blaze cake, but we don't really need the blaze bee because we have the tinker smeltery. Sand, skeleton bee we need for breeding. Invar we can put in. Zombie, hellish, slimy. 
spelling for books, slimy, soupy for soup, water, lapis, the iron bee for breeding, sky slime, yeti bee does absolutely nothing, but I picked it up anyway, iron glowstone, okay. Well, let's just put in the uh, sooty and the invar for right now, and we can unlock them. Deeper, guys. He blow up. Did I not get the beeper because he exploded? It's a freaking crocodile. Beeper, guys. Yeah, yeah. Beepster. Come here. We got a beeper. Two out of two. Is that a rocky bee? Wow, we found a rocky bee. Yoink. Now all we need is a zombie. An Oreo bee. Got him. Got him. It's another skeleton bee. So Shattered Savannah is really good for skeleton bees. I need the Zombro. Is that him? Is that my boy? Zombie. Got him. Okay, so we're back, and we got all of the bees that we needed. It took a very long time. The beeper was the one that was causing us the most trouble. We have all the bees we need to breed now. Let's go ahead and ring this activated waystone. That's invalid. <laughs> uh, we can head back over here. Uh, I got a charm that gives me a double jump now. Cool. We got our breeder. First one we're, that we're going to breed is going to be the copper bee. So we need a uh, rocky bee and a skeleton bee. Okay, so skeleton and rocky. And then they're going to need a bone block and a, a piece of stone. So crafting table. All right. And bone and stone. And we're going to need empty jars. Also, I definitely should be doing this. Alright, that one's going to go. It's going to go three times faster now. What other bee can we make? The nickel bee is going to require the copper bee. The gold bee is going to require the nickel bee. The lead bee is iron and IC bee. So snow and iron. So iron and the ICB. So iron and snow. All right. Iron and snow. Cool. And the apiary upgrade. Boom. There we go. Emerald storage upgrade. We have, wow, we have a good amount of sooty and invar coming in. Just from our short excursion, trying to find the other bees that we're missing. Good thing this area is chunk loaded. Yep, it's definitely chunk loaded. Apiary storage has our copper bee. Nice. Nickel bee is going to be copper and RGB. So we need any flower in the RGB. Rocky skeleton. The RGB. Let's see, can any flower work? And one of these guys. Yep. Nice. Alright, so we have a lead bee and we have a nickel bee now. Nickel and lead. Make gold, water bee, and nickel. 
So water bee, seagrass. Whoops. Nickel. There we go. Makes the gold. And let's make the osmium bee, which is a skeleton bee and a zombie. So skeleton bee and a zombie. Nice. Okay, we have our osmium bee. We have our gold bee. All right. Gold. Osmium. All right, so we'll make the tin bee, which is forest bee and zombie. Forest bee. And zombie. Yep. And we'll make the zinc bee which is the aluminum bee and the beeper, which we have to make after we make the tin and the osmium bee. The silver bee is lead and water. Lead, ore, and water. Cool, so we'll do them next. All right, we have the tin bee and we have the silver bee. So to make the aluminum bee, we need tin and osmium. Osmium, tin, and osmium. There we go. We'll make the aluminum bee. And we need the aluminum bee with the beeper. To make the zinc bee. We'll go ahead and go into the mutation room and we'll set up the two bees to float around in here. This is where I've been getting all of my emeralds. I've been letting the uh, emerald bee do block mutation. Let's see. So silver and copper. We need the gold bee. And the nickel bee. they flew really high. Got him. We have our Electrum B spawn egg and we have our Constantan B spawn egg. Nice. I'll leave these two bees in here real quick. We can check on our other ones that uh it should be done now. I'm curious about this though. <laughs> yeah, the filter works. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yep, we have our aluminum bee and we can turn the aluminum bee right in here and start making the zinc bee. All right, so we have our zinc bee now should we should be able to take our zinc bee, put copper under it, and have block mutation that way. So let's do another spawn egg with a brass bee. That way we won't have to alloy the brass anymore. Put copper down, and we'll put our zinc bee out.
see if we can help this guy. Yep, there we go. We have our brass bee as well. Cool. And... No! Are you serious? I have one hole in my ceiling. Ugh. Cannot believe that. We have our nine tin honeycombs. Make a honeycomb block out of it. And we can make a copper block as well. Alright, and we have our silver bee? We do. So let's do our two uh, spawn eggs for lumium and signalium while we're here. Copper and tin. We put down our silver bee. We'll let this guy pollinate and then we can uh, push these out. Taking the long route, buddy. Silver. Hmm, does he only pollinate once? No, he's got double pollination. There we go. We have our Signalum bee, and we have our Lumium bee. Nice. Let's see if these guys can share a wall. A light source, we have flowers. Yep, cool, it can share a wall. So we can put our other ones in here. Import nickel, gold. All right, we need to catch these two bees and I don't wanna do it out here in the wild. Let's go inside real quick. Trap door is closed. Lumium B. And the Signalium B. Nice. Yeah, they're pollinating. I hope they don't get confused. Thank you so much for joining me today. Smash like to keep the series going, and click on my dude here to subscribe for more modded Minecraft. If you want to see the full, uninterrupted footage, you can go to my channel on Twitch at twitch.tv ddanicus. The VODs will be saved there.